Hello! In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some basic concepts of profit and loss in maths. This topic is not part of Year 6 curriculum in England. However, the principles of profit and loss, as well as profit and loss percentages, are easily calculated with Year 6 maths knowledge. Let's imagine that I bought this lovely bag from a wholesaler for £60 and I decided to sell it for £75 to make profit. I made £15 profit. 75 take away 60 is going to be £15. But what if I couldn't sell it for £75 and I could only sell it for £45? In this case, I incurred a loss, a loss of £15. 60 take away 45 is going to be £15 loss. Let's look at some basic terminology first. Profit is the amount gained by selling something at a price greater than its cost price. Loss is the amount lost by selling something for less than its cost price. Cost price is the price you buy an item at from a manufacturer. Selling price is the amount you resell the item for to your customers. Let's look at some examples. Let's imagine that I bought a bag for £60. That's going to be my cost price, CP for short. I bought that bag from a wholesaler and now I want to resell it to make some money. I'm selling this bag for £75. That's a selling price, £75. And I'm getting a profit of £15. So profit is calculated by selling price, take away cost price. My selling price was £75, cost price is £6, my profit is £15. Cost price is always constant. What if I couldn't sell my bag for £75 and I only managed to sell it for £45? I incurred a loss. Loss is calculated by cost price, take away selling price. So in this case, my loss was Fifteen pounds. There's also such thing as profit and loss. We'll look at it later. Profit percentage. This is the formula of profit percentage. However, you don't need to remember formulas by heart. If you know your cross multiplication and division method, you can work out anything. So let me show you an example. Let me show you how to apply a cross multiplication and division method to work out a missing number. So our cost price was £60. This is our 100%. Our profit was £15. This is the percentage we're looking for. The profit percentage. We cross multiply the numbers and then we divide it by whatever is left. By the way I've done a video about cross multiplication and division have a look in the comments below that's very useful to use cross multiplication and division method for working out the missing number. So we have 15 times 100 Divide by 60. Okay, let's reduce it. Now, what else can we reduce? Let's have a look. 15 and 6, we can divide both numbers by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now we have 5 times 10 is 50. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25%. So profit percentage in this case, profit percentage, 
was twenty five percent. And you can also work it out by knowing that twenty five percent is a quarter, and we know that fifteen is a quarter of sixty, and quarter is the same as twenty five percent. If I could a loss instead of a profit, my loss percentage is worked out similar way. You can use this formula, or you can use the cross multiplication and division method. So my cost price was sixty pounds. This was my hundred percent. My loss was fifteen pounds. And I'm looking for percentage for the loss, loss percentage. So I cross multiply numbers diagonally. I cross multiply these numbers, and I divide it by whatever is left. So exactly the same calculation: fifteen times a hundred divide by sixty, and we worked it out before that it's twenty-five percent. So I incurred twenty-five percent loss. Now let's have a look at some word problems to do with profit and loss percentages, and how to work them out. Profit and loss problem number one: I'm selling a bag for forty-two pounds. I'm gaining a profit of twenty percent. What cost price did I get the bag for? So we have cost price, which we don't know. It's a question mark. And we also know that cost price is always a hundred percent for us. What else do we know? We know that my selling price was forty-two pounds. What do we also know? We know that profit percentage was twenty percent. That means that my selling price. All together was hundred and twenty percent. Okay, because we're adding on the twenty percent on a hundred. So we're looking for the cost price. So let's use the same cross multiplication and division method. Selling price forty-two pounds relates to hundred and twenty percent. The same way as cost price, what we are looking for, we don't know it. We're going to put X in there. Relates to hundred percent because cost price is always hundred percent. So let's see if we can use cross multiplication and division method. So we cross multiply numbers diagonally, and we divide it by whatever is left. Forty-two multiply by a hundred. Divide by hundred and twenty is thirty-five. Profit and loss problem number two: A man incurs ten percent loss by selling a bag for sixty-three pounds. At what price should the bag be sold to gain twenty percent profit? Let's have a look what we do know. Do we know the cost price? Well, we don't know it at the moment, but we know that cost price is always hundred percent. We don't know it. Let's put a question mark. Do we know the selling price? Yes, we do. We know that the selling price is sixty-three pounds, and we also know that loss was ten percent. That means that the percentage of selling price is ninety percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Take away ten percent. Ninety percent. First step. Let's find out. Let's put first step. Let's find out what the cost price is. So let's use the same method we were using before: cross multiplication and division. So cost. Price, hundred percent, and then we have 
Selling price, 90%. We also knew selling price is £63, but we don't know the cost price, so let's put X. Remember, cross multiplication and division method to find out the missing number, so we cross multiply numbers diagonally. Cross multiply, and then divide by whatever is left. 100 times 63 divide by 90. Let's reduce that. 63 divided by 9 is 7. And then 10 times 7 is 70. Step 2. We know that our cost price is 70 pounds relates to 100% because cost price is always 100% now we're looking for our selling price we don't know what our selling price is yet so we'll put X but what we do know that it should be 120% because we want to sell it with the profit of 20%, so we are adding 20% on top of it. So let's find out what our selling price should be, what our missing number is. So we cross multiply diagonally, we cross multiply numbers diagonally, and then we divide it by whatever is left, whatever stands alone. So 70 times 120 divide by a hundred to reduce that we've got seven and twelve left seven times twelve is eighty four pounds so our selling price should be eighty four pounds if we want to make twenty percent profit well i hope you found this useful if you like this video please let me know in the comments below what else you would like me to explain to you in maths. Until next time, bye-bye!